Hey, do you know you can get high by eating certain fish? There's even a term for it, ichthyolenotoxism. But how does it feel like to take a fish trip? What species of fish can get you high? And are you even supposed to attempt to get high this way? Let's find out. With people also ask. Hi, I'm Xiao Chen Lo. Welcome to What People Also Ask, where I search something seemingly obvious and share with you some of its part, aka People Also Ask, which is a feature telling you what other people are searching on Google that relates to your query. This query is a hallucinogenic fish, Ixiolinotoxism, and Salima Porgy. So let's start with our first two parts. Can fish make you high? And what fish can get you high? Google's auto-generated answer is extracted from a Wikipedia entry titled Hallucinogenic Fish. According to this entry, several types of fish are said to have psychedelic effect when eaten. Sarbasopa, aka Salima Corgi, a type of sea brain, for example, is widely thought to be hallucinogenic. They might induce a hallucinogenic effect similar to LSD if eaten. However, based on the report of exposure, they are more likely to resemble hallucinogenic effect of delirium than the effect of serotonergic psychedelics such as LSD. So how did it feel like? Let's talk about our next part. What is ichthyolinotoxism? The answer cited a case report published in Clinical Toxiology in 2008. According to this report, ichthyolinotoxism is a rare kind of food poisoning contracted following the ingestion of fish. The responsible toxins are unknown, and the clinical feature is characterized by the development of central nervous system disturbances, especially hallucinations and nightmares. And it appears that fish trip is usually not a good trip. This report provides two case studies. A 40 years old man experienced mild digestive problems and a terrifying visual and auditory hallucination after eating a sarba sopa in a restaurant. He was then sent to the hospital and recovered 36 hours after the meal. Another man, 90 years old and previously healthy, had auditory hallucinations two hours after eating a sarba sopa. The two following nights, he had numerous nightmares and recovered spontaneously after a period of three days. But what did they actually experience during the fish trip? The answer to our next part has more detailed description. So what does it feel like to have Sabra Sabra trip? Google's auto-generated answer is linked to an article titled Meet the Hallucinogenic Fish That Can Give You LSD-Like Nightmares, published by Atlas Obscura, which is an online magazine covering unusual and obscure travel destinations. And obviously, the travel destination includes the psychedelic trips here. According to this article, in 1994, a 40-year-old man felt nauseated about two hours after enjoying fresh baked sopa sopa on his vacation on the French Riviera. With symptom-like blurred vision, muscle weakness and vomiting persistent and worsening throughout the next day. He cut his vacation short and hopped in the car, only to realize mid journey that he couldn't drive because of all the shrieking enormous R support distracting him. Another 90 years old man in 2002 began to have hallucination of screaming human and squirking birds after eating the fish in Saint Tropez, also on the French Riviera. He experienced terrifying nightmare for another two nights, but he didn't tell anyone since his thought that he was developing a mental disorder. After reading this article, I think I personally won't attempt to get high this way. Okay, let's recap. Today we learned that certain species of fish can get you high. What is ichthyolinotoxism? And it's usually a bad trip. If you made it to the end of the video, chances are that you enjoy learning what people also ask on Google. But let's face it, reading PA yourself will be a pain. So here's the deal. I will do the reading for you and upload a video compiling some fun PAA once a week. All you have to do is to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you won't miss any PAA report that I compile. So just do it now. Bye!